And the decision to freeze your eggs. Now insurance companies are even paying for it. Is this the best option for you? More and more women could have the option of freezing their eggs to use later. It's an expensive process, but some employers are now paying for it. The question is, should you do it? Erin Kennedy has the story. Jeline Sostak calls it her backup plan. She is 36 and unmarried. I definitely want to be a mother someday. She chose to freeze her eggs after deciding that having a family now wasn't an option. I have these eggs that, granted, they're my 36-year-old eggs. They'll still be younger than my 40-year-old eggs. She was lucky. Her medical insurance paid for most of those procedures. Recently, Facebook began offering coverage for women to freeze their eggs, a cost that can quickly total up to $20,000 or more. Dr. Christopher Sipes says this employee perk empowers women. One of the things that I think it really does is gives them the option to choose family and career as opposed to family or career. But UIC's Dr. Barbara Risman does not necessarily agree that employers offering insurance for egg freezing is empowering. Just to play devil's advocate, when you give women this option, it's then up to them. They're making their choices. The implication is from their company is, hey, if you want to be a mother, do it on your own time after you work for me 10 years later, uh, then that's a very negative position. Risman says that while freezing eggs may help some women, companies offering that coverage should also offer daycare and generous maternity and paternity leave. Facebook does, but she worries about other companies. It creates, really, it's sex discrimination when only women are being told they cannot be workers and parents. Lori Andrews of Chicago Kent College of Law echoes that sentiment and has other concerns. It's a risk. Uh, first of all, the procedure is fairly experimental still. It's only been around for about 10 years. Andrews points out that even with younger eggs, there are health risks for an older mother and even the child. Because you're having a baby with an older dad and there are some chromosomal abnormalities and autism that is associated male sperm. Moreover, if you delay having a family thinking your frozen eggs will definitely lead to children, you may be setting yourself up for incredible disappointment. We typically see a pregnancy rate for a woman who's under 35 of around 40 percent. So if you have an older woman, then their pregnancy rate tends to be lower than that number. Jolene says it was a good option for her. She can look for a partner without feeling as much pressure from her biological clock. You have a savings account, you have a Roth IRA, you got a 401, you have everything else that prepares you for the future. Why not have this other thing? Erin Kennedy, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Erin. Apple also plans to offer coverage for egg freezing beginning in January.